guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to being to episodes 35 and 36 of March Comes In Like a Lion. So let's go ahead and get started with episode 35 in 3, 2, 1, go. <clears throat> Excuse me, God, when you eat something and it's just stuck in your throat. Let's just hope and pray that these next steps are good as fuck because I swear to God, if that girl or her mom say some shit to Hina and freaking Akari, mm -mm, I'm coming through that screen. You know, and I don't think I've um, <clears throat> said this for this series. There is no bad person in this show. They're good people who just maybe make wrong decisions for certain things and outcome. But yeah, everybody's good. There's not a character who I'm like, well, yeah. <laughs> Go to there. Go to there was the one where I was like, fuck you. <laughs> But I've grown to like him as well, and I kind of hope we get another, like, episode or just little scene moment with him again. I'm gonna chopstick. Well, right now, she the bitch, so fuck her. Yeah, but your apology wasn't thoughtful. Like, to me, that's a bullshit apology. No. You need to be taught a lesson about what the fuck you did. Mm-hmm. Then you can leave. I mean, something inside of you might change and everything. Go lay on the blanket or something, puppy. Exactly. You just saying stuff to say stuff. <laughs> Did 
then why don't you convey your feelings? You're a child. You're, in a way, just like me and anyone else, you're supposed to convey your feelings to someone who tr you trust. If you feel a certain type of way, you have to tell someone. Yeah, what you did was bad. Like, we all fucking know that shit. But if you want to become a better person, you have to tell people why you did this. What was the reason why you did this, is that, and the third. Hell, she could be having problems at home. Okay. Yeah, all the troublemakers. Because he didn't want the people who caused the problem to be in the room because since they were in the room, nobody was going to speak up and say anything. So taking those individuals out and having the rest of the class in, people can say things and be free about it without being judged or without getting bullied. But still, to me, that, that apology was half ass. Like, if she really meant it, she would be kissing the ass. I'm sorry. Of course. You don't have to forget your bullies or anything. That's up to you. If you don't want to, then yeah. If you do, then you do. Of course. Someone like her who is a bully, they're not going to voice their reason or their opinion on why they did it. They just they they did it just to do it. Not because they're because usually most bullies will bully someone else because they're not getting their attention from their parents at home. Maybe they're possibly getting bullied and usually that is karma as a bitch bullshit and such. And then it's maybe even something else. They're they're lashing out towards someone. Or they say, oh no, I did it because you're the weakest. So I'm going to pick on you just to pick on you. Saying that, oh, you need to realize that there are people in the world who are going to bully you and pick on you because of this, this, that, and the third. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, is it the letter? Oh, it's cold in here. <laughs> no. The hood. <laughs> oh, look at the cows! <laughs> uh, I 
stupid freaking thing is in the way. Oh! She looks happy and at peace. Oh! No. Those apples? Whatever they are, they look good. They look good as fuck, even though I just ate. <laughs> Yeah, they are apples, aren't they? Now, now they look like grapes. They could be plums, but I don't think they're... Are there green plums? No, I mean, plums are purple. And then people your age. Aww. Oh my god. She misses you too. They are plums. <laughs> Those are plums. Is that okay? Never seen green plums before. Interesting. go visit that child please like oh she probably will but I'm guessing they're not gonna show it I get that I ain't got time to show every little thing is anybody home The door just open like that. Mm -hmm. hmm? Hina? We taking a nap? Okay, bitch. I don't know what should you do. Should you stay? Should you leave? Oh, it's complicated. <laughs> Mm. 
Mm-hmm. No. She just looks so peaceful. She's dealt with so much. Did you fall asleep too? Did you give some to Nakaido and uh, what's his face? <laughs> I wonder how you make jam, especially like with any type of fruit. Because when I look at a fruit, I'm like, yeah, how do you get from this to this? What exactly do you use? I mean, yeah, you can just like smash the crap out of it and then that's how maybe it's also about like bubbling it with some sugar and such uh on um a hot stove for a pot and everything and then that's possibly also how you make jam i mean because i've never made anything like homemade homemade like a jam yeah i can make me some homemade mac and cheese <laughs> I think so too. Mm -hmm. I mean, ever since what, two, three episodes ago, she's been able to smile a lot more. Oh my god, this looks so good. And I'm happy for her. I think, you know, when she smiles, it makes me happy and it makes me want to smile just as much. It's okay. Everybody was. Everyone was. You guys didn't want to get bullied too. Oh, honey. <laughs> It does sound like a cute group of normal friends. You know, you fight over something and the next thing you know, y'all cry. And you be like, oh my god, it was so stupid. Like, I'm sorry for the things that I said. <laughs> I'm happy for her. She deserves this. After all the crap she's gone through... The moments where she was alone and... Oh my god! <laughs> she was alone and you just felt so bad for her and you just wanted to be with her and be like, Hey, it's okay. You're gonna get through this. She finally got through it. And with the help of her sister, her grandfather, Ray... I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
Mm, yeah. Maybe you guys didn't add enough, like, sugar. Usually that is the problem. And then I've met people who have, like... <laughs> and, and thank God this never happened to me. But, um... <laughs> well, yeah. Uh, some people have gotten confused with salt and sugar. No, don't say that. You helped her just as much as anyone else did. Mm. That day when you decided to go see her and she was by herself. You helped her. Like, oh my god, I'm about to cry over this shit again. always been there listening is a way of helping someone mm -hmm. remember when you did that my heart jesus christ like to hear ray say that like he, he's thinking that he didn't help like he did he did help even though he really doesn't truly realize it himself me as a viewer and everybody else who watches us as the audience we've seen him do certain things when he went to kyoto to see her to find her because he knew that she was alone on that trip and he went out he went up and out of his way after he finished his stuff to go see her, to be with her. That You know, even though he is a boy, he's still a high school student. That is a man. That is what you do for someone who you love and care about. You put their needs in front of your own. And this is not speaking about, you know, guys, but this is also speaking about when, uh, girls as well. When you truly love someone, their needs come first before your own. If they're hurt, you always want to talk to them and ask them what's wrong, what's happened, who the fuck I got to beat up, <laughs> whatever and such. It's almost like it, not only it's a friendship, it's a partnership, it's a relationship between you and your significant other you help you and your family especially like when it is your family anytime like i'm crying and especially when i used to get bullied when i was younger um my mom and dad would say things to comfort me and everything and I i've never truly had like a parent who's told me i don't I, I don't think i did anything for you you did even in your own special way where you feel like yeah you think you did do something you sitting there and listening to me speak my mind up and say this is how i feel about x y and z 
and talking about it, me getting my emotions out, my crying, me getting angry, this is that, and third, me speaking up and saying what I need to say. You listening to me or someone, are you listening to someone else? That helps them. Um, the one thing that I kind of like <laughs> about myself, um, that I kind of dislike sometimes is that, because my mom has kind of really, um, approached me about this, <laughs> but I still do it because I, I do care for people, um, whether they are people who are on the internet or just random people who I like, you know, walk up against or you know, what pass against almost any other day. Um, I will take people, whatever they say to me, um, I'll take it to heart. So if someone's having like a really bad day and such, I take it to heart. I kind of like imagine myself as them and okay, like say, this is what I would do. I would do this. Da, 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 da. Cause like one of my, um, one of my subscribers, she's, I don't know how long she's been subscribed to me. I want to say we're in 2021. So like 20, 2018 maybe I believe yeah about 2018 2017 maybe I don't know um she had a lot of problems we would talk on snapchat like a lot me and her kind of still talk but not as much because she's busy with school and school and other things and stuff and I'm busy with like you know this and other things and everything um but when we would get to talk she would get upset about certain things so I would sit there and I would just say okay Tell me how you feel. Like, imagine I'm your friend, the person you're mad at, and lash out at me. You need to convey your emotions to, if you can't convey it to that actual person, um, from what I've seen, and like, well, when I was a kid, when I was in speech therapy, um, and then in TV shows, and it's like that, they always say, like, imagine your, whoever it is, like, your, your therapist, like if your therapist says, okay, I'm such and such, you're still you, I want you to tell me as such and such, like everything that you're currently feeling at the moment, you need to tell me X, Y, and Z and such. And that was one of the ways, one of the many ways to get your entire emotion out to someone and how it's like, this is how I truly feel. So in a way, like me, the counselors and whatever, we're like the warm up. And then once you get to the actual person and you tell them, sometimes, you know, they understand and sometimes they don't. Sometimes you have to like go back and try again with them because not everybody is immediately going to understand how you truly feel about everything. But, um, this was a good episode. I, I'm happy once again to see Hina smile. She's been smiling the last few weeks of this show. And I'm just like, thank God. Because if he didn't go to Kyoto, she still would have been, like, stuck. Bullied, being possibly depressed. I don't think she would have done anything to, to herself. I just think every day when she would have came home, she would have cried even more and more. Now, her bullier... The chick who bullied her, I, I feel like she has no remorse. This is this is something what still possibly kind of happens in schools today with bullying. Because, you know, it's been a while since I've been in high school um, and such. But when it comes to, and, and it even happens in, like, today's society and in, in the world today. People get bullied for, like, so many different things. And because of the fact is the bullier who possibly has a problem same thing with the person who's getting bullied also has a problem about something if that situation doesn't get solved a lot of bad things will happen things that i don't really want to talk about but if you if you have seen the news uh anything of the last few years especially whether it's american news world news wherever you live type of news and what has happened from okay i'll say from 2012 up until now Everything that has currently happened in any type of news that where people are like, oh, we should have seen the signs, this is that and the third. And people are like, um, we should have did something. And then people, there are some people who will always be like, well, why didn't you do something then? And people will say, I didn't see anything like that. And sometimes it, it is hard to see those signs. And that's why I think now, especially with schools, um, even though now we're currently in a pandemic and, you know, cause I think here in Florida, 
um, and maybe in a couple of places in the United States, they're still they're now allowing kids to go back to school, from what I remember. Um, but some parents are like, nah, you virtually, you stay in the fuck home. Like, uh-uh, COVID's no joke, and such. Um, I don't know. With the situation, maybe that's when a lot of teachers, faculty members, um, excuse me, will see signs of bullying or harassment or a child on their own and such and making sure that it doesn't get you know into a bad situation where something might happen to them or others but yeah thank god we ain't have anything like that with this series because oh god but this was a really good episode Real, almost, i mean every episode of the show is emotional as hell and i <laughs> i can't i take it to heart way too much but this is really good but go ahead and pause the video and i'll see you guys in one second for episode 36 okay episode 36 in three two one go I kind of better be shown today. I mean, it's been two, three episodes since we last saw him. Toji, he looks so cute in the picture. Like a little Odie Yuki Fruits basket. <laughs> it looks more like a movie poster. It's got a matte finish. Oh my god. That's what you know is legit. God. <laughs> well, that's like... Mm. One poster looks gorgeous, nice, flawless, you know, awesome. This is that and the third, everything, and the other one just looks half. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Are you okay? Oh god, but he's touching all over it. No, mm-mm. 
Spray that down with some Lysol. Oh my god. Yeah, see. Yeah, mm -hmm. That's why we got masks. <laughs> Hold on, wait, what did the little thing say at the bottom? Why are you looking like tuxedo masks? Except, you know, he ain't got no masks on. <laughs> oh, God. It's getting cold again. Mainly my legs are cold. <laughs> I can't with this show sometimes. Please. Yeah. See, you say that, but then next thing you know, something's going to happen. I know that's an, um, <clears throat> an expression, but still. Mm. It just makes you wonder how it's going to go between Ray and Soya. Because this is like the most, most, most anticipated match of his career. It's like all of Ray's matches are very, you know, those were like the calm before the storm. This is like the big deal, the big leads, like all or nothing. Oh, I would have liked to 
see you in the kimono, babe. No, are you? Yeah, it's like that. I'm about to cry over this again. Oh my god. Deja. <laughs> no. You were. Yeah. He did. <laughs> and he got scolded. Just a feeling. <laughs> Honestly, the fact that, you know, her problem has reached um, its solution or conclusion. It just feels like a brand new day for her. Every day when she wakes up, as I said in the previous episode, she's a lot more happy. She's upbeat. She it, It's just like she has no care in the world, but she's just happy. So fucking happy. And it makes me happy. And it's cold. So if we consider Soya like a snowstorm, something at the bottom of the lake, then what do we consider rain, you know? I mean, he... The one element that I always, like, we've seen around him the most is, like, wind and such, air. Not, like, a very violent tornado, but, like, you know, I mean, at the beginning of the series, yes! Um, because of his situation and such, but now he's very, like, calm and gentle, like the wind when it's a really nice breeze and everything, like, especially during, like, spring, maybe summer. This like freaking hotel is just give you a card. <laughs> I'm guessing this is the first time you've seen the poster. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> but damn. I mean, y'all really went all out for this. <laughs> walk around or something? <laughs> That's so cute. That is a lot for someone to handle, especially, I mean, what, day one? I, I can't imagine, like, after the match, because, I mean, because Soya has done this before. He's a professional at this. You know, Kenny Abaray, Array, our precious baby boy. I mean, he still, like, he, he knows his stuff, but I, I, I don't know. I'd be a little nervous. You could always just make up something. He's so pale that it's like, oh, it creeps me out. Yeah, but now that it's just you, it's a lot harder. If only he was just here. I mean, uh, he's there, but like, just in your heart right now. It's a completely different world. That's a good answer.
<laughs> right, cause I mean, you know, everybody's going crazy, and he should. Uh, so yeah, what the fuck? I mean, that's gonna stain. There's no way in the hell that you can get this clean by tomorrow. Yeah. Oh boy, he looks pretty. Exactly. That that's what it is. That's an anthology right there. Um but okay. I have no idea how this is gonna Oh god. I don't know how this is gonna go. I, I'm I'm excited, I'm scared, I, I you know I'm everything right now. <laughs> I oh god. This is going to be nerve-wracking next week. <laughs> uh, who knows if they're going to even show this match next week, number one. That's the biggest thing because they might just go past it and then just show flashbacks and then that's it. But I don't know how they're going to do this. I want Kiriyama to win because 
Ray is Ray. He's been the, you know, the protagonist of this show. The one who we've mainly see the P- seen the POV of for so many episodes. I mean, yes, we've gone back and forth from him, Hina, Kyoko, um, Goto, uh, any other person that I can't think of right now. We've gone through so many POVs of different characters, but at the end of the day, we still always come back to Ray, And this is his story, and so since he is the main character of this story, he has to win. There, I think, you know, there, there's probably not a lot writing on this, but who knows. One thing I kind of want to hope and pray for next week that um, we get like a two-parter into these next two episodes where it's like one episode we have the whole entire episode POV of Ray. The following episode it's a whole POV but it's Soya because we've never really truly seen everything through Soya's point of view. We've seen it as Ray looking at Soya and such or someone else looking at Soya and what they feel when Soya comes into a room. It's very cold. It feels like you're in a in a storm, any type of storm. How I mean how Ray compare I was talking about a typhoon. Soya is the typhoon and Ray is, you know the freaking country of Japan, like damn, I'm just saying. It, it's a it, it's a calm before the storm and I really hope that whatever this outcome is going to be between these two, um it's well. It's not bad. I don't want it to a point where like Hideyama goes back into like a depressed moment and such. But who knows how the hell this is gonna go. But like I, I am scared. Oh God, like mm. <laughs> you don't even know. But like I just gotta wait. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episodes. <laughs> 35 and 36 of March comes in like a lion. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for Patreons and next Monday for everybody else for episodes 37 and 38. Bye, guys.